I mean, at this point, it just kind of feels like this is what happened. Like, that's what she did. I. It's like, will they get to the trial already so we can see what he is going to say? Like, is he going to say, yeah, I did it? Or is he going to say, this is what happened? Like, we need to know. Like, are they, have they put her on like one of those... You know, what do you call it when you when when they tell a person you can't leave the country? Squad, hey, welcome back to All Things Nail. I'm your girl Nail, and I'm here with an update uh, about the Danielle Hoyle and Baby Kennedy Hoyle case. The last video, so let's talk about these comments first because you know we always got to go through the comments and suspicion first. This because it just be shining lights on things. So, Taylor Williams, thank you for coming and shout out to you. Thank you for watching. But this comment right here, it says, I believe that Artessa did the killing. That makes sense. Why would Brandon shoot the window out if he had if he had a gun? Artessa showing out to Danielle and probably said, see me and shot the window. And Danielle just out the car. If it was Brandon, he would have been in the car doing his making up and would shot her on the right side. Too much mention of no gas. That brings me to thinking. Because that makes you think. And then she said, um, too much mention of no gas and the nails that time of night. It just... I'm going to give y'all another scenario. So y'all better sit down and hold on to your seats for this. Because that makes sense. Because... The right, they said the right side of, the right window of her car was shattered. We know that the incident happened at an intersection. Segway, I can't even remember the intersection at this point. But it was at an intersection and not at the location. Apparently, he probably told her to meet at. But my thing is, if he knew she had to enter that low state, that, that, come to that intersection the intersection nobody was there he knew it wasn't a busy intersection and that was gonna be a good place he got out he came into the car and started her and i'm just this is just our instant replay okay he come up to the intersection he started her her and said open the door she's probably like what you doing here now let's go to the place to meet would she have opened the door for him or would it have started her to the point she thought it was weird and wouldn't have opened the door? Either way. Or did he not say anything at all and just walk up and knock the window out? I don't know where she was shot at. I don't know if she was shot on the left side or the right side. I have yet to see that on the news or in any document or heard any of the family say. So at this point, that does matter. With the right window being broken out. Or did he just walk up and shoot her through her passenger side? See, I don't know. Because if he just walked up and shot her through her passenger side. But the reason this is to be thought about. Because, again, if it was Brandon, she knew she was supposed to meet him. Why didn't she just unlock the door and let him get in? Then the window wouldn't have been broken. Because if she was expecting to meet him... And it was him at the intersection. She's like, oh, it's me. I'm right here. Just let me in the car. And she'd have let him in. The window wouldn't have been broke. It's what she's saying. But if it was Artessa, she wouldn't have unlocked the door. I, Artessa would have had to shoot the window out or break the window. That's the point that's being made in the comment. But what if... Artessa had the gun... And it was Brandon's gun, and she knew Brandon had the gun in his bag, and he kept the gun on him. And she had got the gun and was holding Brandon at gunpoint. 
what if i'm this is just the what if and she was holding brandon at gunpoint and she made brandon go and do all of these things so what i'm saying is she made brandon text danielle and make danielle meet them what i'm saying what if she was the puppet behind this entire thing and brandon had to go along with it because he was being held at gunpoint do y'all understand what i'm saying here what if that's the situation and i'm just saying this because all the comments that's that's what all the comments are shaping up to say i'm not saying that's what happened it is a what if situation don't know if that's what happened i'm not saying it is i'm not saying it's it's not i'm just saying what if i wasn't there i do not know it's just another scenario and let's continue so she seen them and Artessa is with her and Danielle is like, well, what's she doing here? It's just supposed to be us. I'm not, I'm not unlocking the door. And this is how the window gets broken. And this is how she gets shot. This is how the baby gets taken. Thus leads us to the car seat and the baby disappearing. This, this leads us to why Brandon was at her house freaking terrified and was told if you call the police you would never see the baby again so she had the baby and in the comments from the very first video somebody had made the comment oh i posted the the, the, the comment and the person and what they said that she got rid of the baby so she, while she was downtown quote paying the deposit for her nails aka getting rid of the baby she had the gun and everything and told him, I got the, got this baby. And if you so much as call the police, you'll never see your daughter again. So he at her house, waiting on her to get back, terrified. Hence, she said out of her own mouth, he was there when she got there. And he was all anxious and everything and literally ran out of the house. So she didn't even get to go out in the house because he was just acting weird and he ran out of the house. So maybe he ran out of the house and was like, so where's the baby? So what did you do? What did you do? Where's the baby? At this point, she has gotten rid of the baby and the weapon. And then she like, now we're going over here. And, and he like, but the police call him. The police call him want to know what happened to, to Danielle. What am I supposed to say? She's like, you going to tell him that you did it. Brandon, because you and, and blah blah blah, and so they go over to his parents' house, and then this is this is why maybe he was like, "Well, the police want to come over here. Is it okay that I tell them to come here?" And she's like, "No, nah, we going to your parents' house." This may be why he was like, "Well, the, they need to come here." Because remember, she said in her interview that they need, you know, I'm we gonna tell them. Uh, do I, uh, is it okay if the police come here? That makes sense now. Why would he say that? So they go to his parents' house. They talk to the police. He admits to killing and yelling the baby. At this point, he could have been shocked to death. Don't even know. Whatever. And then... <clears throat> he admits to it. He could feel responsible. When you make, when a woman has a miscarriage or an abortion, it can destroy her body to the point where she cannot have any more. It can de destroy her physically, mentally, and emotionally. It can push her beyond points of no return. She loved the person. She loved the man. We have no idea how much she loved him. She said they only been together six months, but it don't mean that don't mean nothing. It does not mean that for her, that she didn't form a love for him in those six months because we don't know that. We don't know that she did. We didn't know that she. We don't know that she did it. All we we do know is people can love hard, and we don't know how people love, and we don't know in. <laughs> where that type of love can push you but i can tell you losing a child can push you because i've lost one before and it can hurt you and it can mess you up mentally we don't know it and she said two and six months that is a lot you are messed up 
your home hormones are messed up you are messed up emotionally especially if you didn't want to especially if you didn't want to give up your children but he was adamant he didn't want anymore and then here comes danielle beautiful sweet she's not even with him but yet she gets to birth a child from the man that you love I'm just going to sit there right there. It's a scenario. None of this, like I said, none of this really means nothing until we hear the trial. It's a scenario. At this point, all we can do is pray for the Hoyle family, all the parents, all the children involved, the friends of everybody. It's a, it's a terrible situation. I don't know what happened. It's just too much. So, about this court case. As of today, March the 19th, they still have not found baby Kennedy. The trial, it was, I was waiting for the news to post like a more concrete update the first thing that i heard is that brandon had waived his rights to a preliminary hearing and they were going to go straight to the indictment and straight on to the trial and i was waiting for the news to post it to see if that make sure that was the correct information and a news outlet did finally post and gave an update that indeed that's basically what they were going to do but they also said that unfortunately it's one of those situations where kind of like they they can start going through the process of getting everything in order for the trial now he may have to do that thing remember when i told y'all in the last video um sometime here i don't know if they do this other places because i only i kind of know what goes goes on down here in the south and and they'll do that thing where you have to appear in court every month or every so many days up until your trial I don't know if that's the step they're at, but if they've moved it to trial, some people are like, oh, it's going to take years. Here, it doesn't take years. It takes literally two to, two to six months. So I'm expecting to hear within the next four, minimum of four months to six months that this is going to go to trial. At that point, then the news will pick it up and run with it until, the, until it gets to the trial. trial. The news will not have it like... um publicly we'll have to kind of dig for information about it because right and especially like right now there's two other big uh, trials going on we have the young Dolph trial going on and then we have the Lor lorenzo wright trial going on matter of fact march the 17th the same day that isabel was supposed to appear in court the the trial started and and to me that trial also started really really relatively quickly um it hasn't been that long ago but i know the jimmy martin guy walked i think on the 18th which was like yesterday the day before whatever they um the jimmy martin guy was started they were on that process of him walking them step by step through them planning and plotting to kill lorenzo wright and the whole trial is around Billy Ray Turner's, it's his trial for him killing Lorenzo Wright and everything. So that's why a lot of the media wasn't even at Brandon Is 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 Isabel's trial because compared to that trial, it's like he's a non-important factor at this point. So it's kind of just been like brushed literally aside which is sad to say because it's a big thing for us but they have so many other cases and then they got the people literally everybody for young Dolph that they want to um care to trial and everything so they have that trial going on so um the situation with Brandon I just have to get in um we'll have to keep it 
asking about it because I asked a couple of me, uh, media outlets about it and um one or two, the, you know after I kind of asked about it did I see an update about it or whatever but so that's kind of it we just waiting for that date I'll keep y'all posted so make sure y'all hit the subscribe button if y'all hear something send it to my email DM me like y'all been doing Instagram is the best place to DM me some people be DMing me on Twitter but send it to me to my email allthingsnail gmail.com send it to me like you been doing I appreciate it